<laughs> I feel better. <laughs> I'm recovering from the flu. So I'm feeling better. What's up, Colin? What you doing? <clears throat> going out to Simon. He likes to jam out while he's while he does his thing. That's what he does. That's his thing. <laughs> Simon's got the groove, y'all. What's up, Ralph? Oops, did I step on your toy? I'm sorry. I stepped on Little Bit's toy. <clears throat> She'll forgive me. She knows it was a mistake. It was an accidental stepping on the toy. It wasn't like I meant to do it. You want to put it under my foot? How do you like that? Yeah, no one ever talks about that part. No, they never do. <laughs> Chris! What's up, Chris? Seeing you in the daytime. In, in the surroundings of your home, of your living room. It was very homey. I like it. Your neighborhood, your friendly neighborhood slinging Kristoff at home. With the no pressures of the work life. I like that. Very, very chill. You gotta show the little one next time. He's got a, he's got a, a video bomb. That would be cool. <laughs> I dated a guy one time. I met him in an underground club. Yeah. And we would go to this club late at night, but they wouldn't like stop playing music until four in the morning, sometimes six. And that's where I started playing my chiptune music. So I met this guy and I started dating him. And he only would see me at night. And then one night it got too late, came over. The next day came, we went outside and he's like, Claudia in the daytime. Like if I was gonna like melt with the sun. He said it in such a way, I was just like, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was weird. For me, that was weird. I'm like, yeah, I go out in the day. I just don't see you then. <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna melt. <laughs> I date weird ones. <clears throat> okay, so if you saw my last stream, <laughs> you would notice, you would have seen that I opened up Rob's uh, custom beggary cords and I have since strung up two. And it was the one that I said I was going to do. This is my modern standards. I don't know why I keep thinking they're bronze. I guess they are brass. They just, they just like confuse me because my mini standards are brass and they're completely dinged up like all over the place and these have held up so nicely. I just started doubting myself. I was like, this, this can't be brass. There's no way this is brass. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think they are. <laughs> I think you're right. And I think they make bronze for modern standards. <clears throat> but anyway, this is the first, uh, set that I put my blood red 550 poly 550 blood red yeah so that's on my modern standards and I gotta say I like it I really like it a lot <clears throat> it's uh, softer than I thought it was gonna be like it definitely has the feel of 
I guess chain, yeah. So if you if you've never if you've never uh, rocked a chain set, I can show you an example. This is one of my DIY my homemade aliens. And oh wait, I'm not keeping track. I'm not <laughs> I'm not keeping track of time. <clears throat> okay. So this is a chain set that I strung together with chain. And chain is a different feel. I mean, it's not paracord by any means, and it depends on what what chain that you're using, how it's going to feel. This one, for example, has that 550 width. Can you can see that. Well, maybe a little bit. No, it's 550. It's like a 550 width. So it's if you're uh, interested in chain. And I'm going off track here. <laughs> but I want to see more people try to utilize chain, like actual chain. And this this one wasn't hard for me to string together. It feels different, but it's not uncomfortable to the point that you can't sing. Uh, this is another chain set that I have that I got from Shy Guy. And originally it had tassels. But since then, the tassels untasseled themselves, so I replaced them with jingle bells, little baby, little baby bells I had, and my cell phone charms. I don't know if people still rock those, but I still have them. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, this is a bead chain. It's like similar to the the army dog tags beaded chain I guess is what it's called. Now they come in different sizes so uh, I, I've been wanting to string up like another set with a thicker size to see how that would feel but it kind of reminds me of the custom begley cords because it's got that um, chain it's got that feel of chain You don't use cord, Chris? You don't use paracord, thanks to Rob now. <laughs> a believer. <laughs> Very cool. I really dig the 550. The 550 is my favorite. It's it's very a flexy, like I was saying. I was having issues with this set because uh, I had a different cord. It was a 550 cord that was too damn stiff. And I don't know why it was so stiff, but it needed it needed to be changed. And this is perfect. It wraps just the way I want it to. The other one would only go this far. It just wouldn't wrap over because it was just and that was paracord, but it was just too damn stiff. <clears throat> so these for sure. I love the blood 550 pair of uh, poly. <laughs> that was my first initial. Um, reaction, response, I guess, to how they felt. They weren't hard to string. I was afraid that they would be kind of difficult, but they were pretty easy. You can see this has uh, the side that it comes with is already looped, and that's the knot that you start with, yeah? So here's like a, a mini tutorial, I guess, if you're going to uh, string up Begley Custom Cords. The poly melts at the end when you when you burn it, which is good because I burn all my ends. But you knot it once you get it to your length, and you know for a set that can hide your knot, it, that it works fine. Um, I haven't tried it on a set that would show the knot, which I've I haven't been showing my knots lately. My knots have been shy. <laughs> So, but yeah, uh, I was thinking of doing another set because I still have more chords. But uh, these are rocking. I really like them. Thank you so much, Rob. Okay, now this is a hemp. I put the Paradise hemp cord. I guess it's 275. It's just the regular width that, that Rob's custom cords come in. <clears throat> and I put it on my classic collectible 
One of the very first uh, beggary sets I got from Matt, my good friend Matt. Thank you, Matt. He sent me these to test them out before he even started doing beggary stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I like them. I, I mean, I like the cord. The cord is, it, at first it was really stiff. Not stiff to the point that it wasn't flexy. <laughs> Shy not. <clears throat> Little bosses. I know what that is. <laughs> but yeah, these are uh, these are collectible sets. I, I'm not sure if these are around. If, if there's very many out there, <clears throat> but um, they were 275 ready. So when I when I strung these up, I didn't have any problem. The only thing that I probably did wrong, and I want you all to know, don't do what I do. <laughs> I'm so used to burning my ends. It's a habit. I have always had my lighter nearby. I know I'm going to restring a set. I burn the end. It's just a habit. It's like I can't not think of doing it, restringing without burning the end. And I tried to do that with hemp. <laughs> And uh, Little Bosses, that was the name of the, of before Wukongs, yeah, then that's, that's what these are. Because you can see they're, they're natural, right? What do they call that? Natty? I want to be hip to the groove to what you guys are talking about. You kids and your crazy slang. But these are Natty, I guess. They have no paint job on them. They were just like fresh uh, demos he sent to me. <clears throat> and I still rock them today. But yeah, I went ahead and put the 275 in here because it was 275 ready. <clears throat> and don't burn the end of hemp. <laughs> yeah, I did do it. <clears throat> but don't do it because it caught on fire. <laughs> like fire fire man that was uh, really crazy and I was like why is it not why is the fire not going away because <laughs> usually like if you have a fray like a thread somewhere you can light it on fire and it gets to a point and it just goes out on its own right this was not happening <laughs> and then I realized while it was burning I was like wait a minute you can't burn this. <laughs> so I had to blow it out like a candle. I had to like, I had to put it out of its misery before it got too far gone. And uh, no, it didn't. It did. <laughs> Thankfully, it did not go too far. And uh, I still have the ends there. I don't want to mess with them because there's a knot. And these are the ends that were sticking out. Yeah, when I just cut them in the future. And I will do this too. If you get him, just cut them. Don't attempt to burn. No, not friendly with, with fire, no. <laughs> fire bad. That is not the way. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, man. It was just a... It was a moment of not, of not using the brain, is what it was. <laughs> So yeah, uh, let that be a warning to you kids, yeah. If you get hemp cord, keep the fire away. You can snip and cut, you know, to trim, but that's all you do. That's it. That's where it stops. That's where it stays. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Good times. <laughs> It was a fire, dude. You should have seen the flame. The flame was like, psh, it was like, shoo. I was like, why is, why? I didn't know. It's just, I think I was still a little bit groggy from my NyQuil uh, that I, I was re regularly taking. So I could, you can tell I still have a like, congestion <coughs> a little bit. Excuse me. So it's, a, it's hard for me to like shake the sickness that I caught, like some kind of a flu or yeah so, something something i was talking on um people were worried for me on discord i think somebody was 
posted like a, a missing persons. Well, okay, not really, not, not really missing person. But they were like, where's Cloudy Girl? Has anyone heard from her? Has anyone seen her? Like I was just MIA for the whole week. Cause I was down for the count, dude. Seriously. Uh, the, I don't know, man, the, these viruses come from foreign lands. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where they come from. I just know that we had like a crazy cold front. And uh, you know, there's stuff in the air flies around and at work everybody at work had been sick already I was fortunate not to be around I had taken vacation when everyone was running around the office sick and uh, I didn't catch it but then I went back to work and all of a sudden I, I caught something and yeah it, it was tough to be it was, it was tough to and it still lingers like it's do you have to make it linger? Like, does it have to still be there? Rest in peace, Dolores from the Cranberries. Rest in peace. That was my time. That was my era. Uh, all my rock gods are dropping like flies, dude. That was my time. <clears throat> I was like a, in my 20s when all these people <laughs> were big. Chris Cornell from Soundgarden, he is gone. Uh, well, everybody, everybody loves Tom Petty, but he was around longer than that, so I can't, I can't claim him as my, my time, but, but yeah, everybody's, they're all falling, man, from the sky, like that fireball <laughs> that just keeps burning, <laughs> but they're just like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, it's freaking me out, man, honestly, I'm, I'm almost getting freaked out, if anybody else dies from from the 90s, I'm just gonna really freak out, I don't know. Yeah, not really. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I like these, these chords. These chords rock, dude. Uh, this one, the hemp, I'm breaking it in still. And I think I was, I mentioned that before I got sidetracked. Breaking it in uh, requires, I guess, play time, right? And I ain't gonna lie, I, I haven't really been playing with these very often uh, since I was sick, you know? So I was only able to string these out uh, like two days ago, I guess like Wednesday. So I haven't really been uh, using them as much, but the hemp cord felt hard to me in the beginning, and I guess that's now, that's a normal thing. <clears throat> I was told you gotta just keep playing with it or rub rub it on cloth or something to soften it up. Like it softens after a while, and uh, I'm working on that right now. Like I'm trying to I'm trying to see how soft I can get it, and if it if it gets soft to the point where it's enjoyable, not that it's not enjoyable. But it, you know, be prepared if, if you're used to paracord and then you're going to switch to to the custom cords and you're getting 275 hemp. I can tell you hemp is a little bit rough feel at first. But it does not, it's not like terribly hard to manage. I have noticed uh, rolling stops. Let me see. Let me, let me try some. Get a little, okay, they're getting less sticky now. Um, in the beginning, when I was trying out this cord, the cord was sticky, like it's still a little bit still sticky, like it doesn't seem to slip as easily as the poly cord, and it could, it, that could be a thing that I'm still breaking them in, because as you can see with my rolling stops, let me see, get it closer, <clears throat> my rolling stops, right, I usually a lot more, see, I get like up to two and then it gets stuck and starts to, to wrap. And that one didn't work at all. Here, wait, hold up. <clears throat> well, well that was no good. And this one, this one slips really good. Look at that. I can really stop all day with Polly. So I don't know if that's a, 
a difference between the, the type of cord, you know, poly as opposed to hemp. Hemp is a little more sticky, to me anyway, that's what I've noticed. And I'm trying to see if I can uh, get, get that out of it. Like, I think it's slowly going away, it's just not, it's taking a while, but I probably need to still say that's getting a little better now. So be aware, there's a break in uh, honeymoon, I guess, if you go through with hemp just to get it where you want it. And I'm sure eventually it's going to soften up, you know, a lot, a lot more. <laughs> but uh, overall, I still, I like them. I mean, I like these cords. So I, I totally recommend to try them out. Because they're they're worth they're different and anything that's different is worth trying. Now I don't know if I can say that uh, they will replace my paracord, honestly, because um, I love certain paracords. For example, this I don't know where I got this one from, but it's just so soft like a pillow, and I, I'm kind of addicted to the pillow softness. That's, that paracords have, and also that depends on the paracord, so if you get your hands on a really, really soft one, it's kind of hard, like in my, in my case, to just turn my back away from all paracord from, from now and forever. No, I mean, I don't think I can, <laughs> but I do love something different, and if you want something different and you want to try something different, Custom Begley, Rob's custom Begley cords are are the ones to, to try, right? You should try them. <clears throat> Thank you, Rob. So that's my review. I'm not very good at reviews. I'm still I'm still lame on reviews. I I, I need to uh, work on my review skills. Yeah. I have I have. Uh, other skills, but reviews are not are not my strong point. Now I'm going to show you what I've been playing with. What's what's in my bag? What's in my bag? Ah, oh, thank you, Jory. This is what I've been rocking this week. Has been my SGO uh, winning for that day. I guess it, we had, they had daily winnings, the daily draw. And I think I won day six, I think, <laughs> but this is what it was. It was the, the tribute set with the, the wavy one with Kendarps and Kendarga, I forget his name. And uh, this one is Weston's Aztec-y looking model. It's got like all the, like a maze. That was my winning. Yeah, they're, they're pretty awesome, dude. I have banged them up a little bit. But that's what they're for. Like, I feel like I'm super protective on some of my sets. I don't want them ever to fall. I don't want them ever to get hurt and stuff. But who am I really saving them for? If I think that way, like I started thinking about it the other day. I was like, I should just use what I have, and if it falls, and it, it gets a ding, it has character, I shouldn't feel so bad. So these have been getting a little dinged up a little bit. And they are titanium. Um, this one has the sunset color going on. You can see it, it changes. This one is just a blue, straight up blue. Now where the dings are happening are up here on the top portion where, the, where it cones out and a little bit on the bottom, on the bottom too. You're getting a little bit of scratches. But you know, hey man, that's just, that's just part of it, you know? It's like if you get a skateboard, you can't be afraid that you're gonna ding it up, you're gonna mess it up. I mean, you're gonna grind on it. 
if that's what you do. I mean, I'm like a longboarder, so I, I was also kind of like, oh no, I don't want it to like get a ding. And, oh no, there it goes. Like it would go away from me. I'm, I'm doing my cross steps, and it would. Uh, there goes my longboard straight to the curb. Got a ding on the side, and I'm like, oh no, I'm, really? Am I gonna be sad? Who am I saving these things for? It's like you know. Someone's gonna sell all my stuff when I die. <laughs> I'm getting morbid now. <clears throat> but yeah, dude. These, I've been rocking these. I can't say all week, but they were in my bag this week for when I did go back to work because I was out sick. So. And then we had some crazy freeze that happened. It was like an unholy freeze that just screwed everything up for me because I have, you know I have dogs outside yet, if you, you, you remember, I used to do my streams outside and my two crazy dogs, I had to bring them inside for the freeze. We had a freeze warning <clears throat> Monday and Tuesday, two nights in a row, I had to bring them inside. <laughs> it was horrible, I mean, I love them, but they're... I guess their house broken now. They weren't before, but they learned to be. And I had to like constantly be on the lookout for them while I was taking shots in Nyquil. Because they're big dogs, you know. They could they could jump over this gate. So you see this little gate right here? I have a couple of them, and I had to put two of them on the kitchen doorway so they wouldn't like jump over like horses and attack me to love me because they love me so much. And it's hard to keep them separated from Little Bit, who is sleeping right now. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, yeah, it was driving me crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I love marks, dude. I've been love marking these like crazy. But I notice I don't, and I shouldn't, I don't know, should I brag about this? I, I don't drop my sets very often anymore like I used to. If anything they'll get hung up in between something I'm doing and they'll get like hung up in a spot but I rarely drop them anymore so that's probably a good thing. I'm actually getting bored of not having to bend over <laughs> and pick them up. Lacking on some exercise there, but you know that's what that's what other exercise is for, right? <clears throat> and if anybody just saw the clip I put up yesterday from my workstation from my cubicle, then you would have seen that I was using these metal thumb chucks. So everybody's like, "Oh my God, those are so huge! Everything looks big for me, dude. I have tiny." I'm small, I'm petite, I have little hands, long fingers, it's very strange my, my proportions. <laughs> what else is like that, a hobbit? <laughs> no dude, I don't, don't even go there, I'm too cute for that. <laughs> and anyway, if you saw that video. I was juggling. Never mind that. Ignore that. Act like that's not happening. Just ignore it. It'll stop. It'll go away. <laughs> it went away. <laughs> I'll call her back. It's probably my mom. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. Juggling challenge. If anybody is up for it, I just decided to throw it out there because I don't see enough people juggling. And you can juggle with any set. It doesn't have to be thumb checks. I mean, I, I was just using those because I had them with me. But um, <clears throat> modern standards, for example, that almost slapped me with myself in the face. <laughs> I will show you some juggling with these. Like, you can do it with any set. It doesn't have to. That there is juggle, that's juggle. See, do not watch how we juggle. That's a hobo and a rabbit. 
but they're making a hobbit play. <laughs> Yeah, see, you can juggle with anything, dude. Look, look at how I juggle. Look, look at, look at how I do. Look at how I do. So I offer a challenge. I issue a challenge to anybody who wants to participate. Show me how you juggle. I was doing two-handed juggles like this. I thought that was cool. So I was like, oh, I never see anybody doing them this way. You know, I do them this way all the time. I guess those are those are uh, hand transfer passes or whatever. <clears throat> but uh, hey man, you can do it this way. You can do it that way. You can do it. if you can juggle anything. It's good for hand eye coordination. It's good for that. So uh, yeah, it's fun. You don't know how many times I tried to do that clip at work. And, well, nobody was really there, so it's not like I was going to get caught, but, um, <laughs> I kept dropping them. <laughs> you never believe uh, how many times I dropped them, because it is a challenge to keep them going. And if you can do them with without rebounding, without wrapping, the only thing I did, which I was guilty of doing, was a slip or two. I would slip every once in a while. You know, you can't help a slip. You gotta slip every once in a while. You know, slipping is what's fun. You know, slipping. <laughs> so yeah, go for it. Post up a picture, um, a video. Post up a clip of yourself juggling and you don't even have to do it as long as I did it. Like, uh, I'm like superhuman. So, uh, I'm superhuman, but I'm not like immune to illnesses, apparently. <laughs> or when it comes to stuff like that, I'm kind of not the normal person. <laughs> I can't think of. I'm like, how do I, how do I describe myself? Everybody has so many labels, and I don't like labels. So it's like, have you a human person? Like, I don't, I don't even know what to call myself. But I'm just gonna call myself me. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> but yeah, you can do some juggles. Show me your juggles, dude. I wanna, I wanna see. I wanna not be the only one that's juggling. The only one that's juggling. You can even do, you can even do this. You can even go like that. Like I didn't even have time to do those. Cause I was, I was at work and I was, sometimes I'm at work and I'm not thinking properly. Cause I'm thinking of work. How dare they? How dare they expect me to think of work while I'm at work, you know? I hope they pay me for that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if they would pay you by the way you're thinking? And if you're not thinking, like, that would be totally big brother. If they know your thoughts and it's not work-related while you're at work and they start docking your pay for all that time that you're not thinking of work stuff, I wouldn't get paid at all. I can just say. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go, okay, Chris, have fun at your wedding with your family. And uh, I suggest you take your Damascus to the wedding, just so you can, you know, so you're, you're gonna be cleaned up and stuff, right? You look all dapper. Take your Damascus with you, dude, and do a little short clip. You don't even have to leave your hand, and you can do just a single grip real quick, straight from the reception. If you can, don't break any rules. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, Jory. <laughs> but yeah, have fun and thanks for watching. I'm probably running out of time, so I guess I'm going to leave you now a little bit, in a little while, in a little minute. <clears throat> These are my oil slicks. And you can see how they slick. <laughs> I hope he gets classy with it, dude. I, I, I would imagine he's gonna look all, all, all sharp, dressed to the nines, as they say. He's gonna, he's gonna 
be at one of those one of those functions of forever and for always. Hey, did, are y'all into Bush at all? I heard uh, they dropped a new song on the radio, so then I looked it up and it was about war. I was like, this is war. So I guess they have a new album coming out. <clears throat> and uh, Mad Love, I guess, was one of the tracks or one of the videos I looked up from Bush. And I don't know, I think Gavin was singing about Gwen in that one. He still has mad love for her. I'm a, I'm a Gwen Gavin fan. I'm, I'm not I'm not hip to the groove with what she's who she's with now. That's just me. I I, I begin I be lit, I I can't talk. <laughs> I believe in second chances, you know? Yeah, Gavin, Gavin probably, you know, was not, it wasn't cool for him to cheat on Gwen. How we all know what happened with that situation. <clears throat> we follow that stuff. <laughs> but I mean, come on, man. You don't drop alternative grunge rock god for a country bumpkin guy. My opinions are my own, okay? I do not speak for the rest. Yeah, I don't really like that guy. I'm on Team Gavin. You know, we all make mistakes. Come on, man. We're all human, aren't we? But, okay. <laughs> I think uh, I'm probably reaching my limit. I have a couple of clips that I'm going to try to uh, film for for everyone, and I have some videos I need to I need to finish editing. So hopefully I'll I'll get around to that this weekend. We'll see. We'll see what goes on with that. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Keep streaming if you're streaming and do all that fun stuff. Have a good weekend. Have a good Saturday. See you later.